action movies, I can easily survive. Now, I feel like in certain action movies, I feel like I can survive, bro. I'm not gonna lie. In specific action movies, my nigga, I think I can survive, my nigga. You feel me? Like, I would do the, like, the real life. Fuck the plot narrative. Fuck all that shit. I would do the real life shit. <laughs> Get my black ass out of there. You know, action movies are something I've appreciated since my days back in the sack. Movies like The Matrix, John Wick, The Terminator show us these insane superhuman surviving, fighting, and doing things no other humans could possibly do. Low key though, I could do that. And I could probably do it better than them. Today, ladies and gentlemen, same way we did for the horror movies, we'll be going over some action movies I could survive easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'll be giving you guys my strategy, my game plan, my thought process, and obviously, some of the ones that I can't. If there even are any. Terminator. The Terminator. First up, I even are any. I don't think I, I don't think I've ever finished the Terminator, bro. I ain't gonna lie. But first and foremost, why would I even involve myself in that situation in general, bro? Big ass robot coming at my coming at my ass, bro. You feel me? All you gotta do is have a bucket of water for the nigga. Come on, that nigga malfunctioning right there. First up, I got The Terminator from the 1984 movie, The Terminator. This one's a little difficult, I won't lie. While this man may look human, he is not. Cause underneath all that fake hair, fake no flesh, and fake blood is a, a lot of steroids. And a super killer robot from the year 2029. The T-800, made out of titanium, has super strength, extremely skilled with weapons, and above all else, ruthless as hell. Sparing innocence is not in this man's programming. He can see the most innocent thing on earth. He can see a, a damn newborn baby watching Coco Melon on his iPad. And if that's his target, Google Kaga. Now taking all this stuff into consideration, am I cooked? And this may surprise you, but... Absolutely. I mean, come on, you guys. This is the freaking Terminator. We're My nigga, I'm not. Unless this nigga is water. Is the Terminator waterproof, nigga? <laughs> come on. That's what I gotta know. Is the ter... Oh, shit. The Terminator waterproof. That's all I gotta know, bruh. Is that nigga waterproof? So... Yes, they are water. So yes, they are waterproof in a sense that water doesn't seem to damage or impede them. However, they don't need to. Oh, well, I'm fucked. <laughs> there goes my plan. There goes my plan. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. Talking about play. You know what? <laughs> my fault. You got it, big bro. <laughs> My fault, my nigga. Hey, by Arnold Schwarzenegger. He can let off one. Oh, get to the chopper. And I am pissing myself. I'm done. Finito. Honestly, I think you I stand a it. better chance against a more advanced model from Terminator 2. Because at least that dude, I could freeze him. I, I'll take my car, drive up to Canada. He's cooked. But Arnold? Yeah, no. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. But I'll make it up to you. I'll definitely beat the next one. I mean, it's only... After being horribly Robocop. injured during... Now I'm throwing water on his bitch ass. Lava? Push him in lava. Only thing is, if you see a Terminator walking around the city, where where are we going to find lava that quick, though? That's the only problem with that. Where are we going to find lava in an instant second? What you do, he knock on your door. You ask, who is it? Door dash. You open that motherfucker up, and you see that nigga. What do you do in that instance? You're fucked. What are you doing at instance, my nigga? Like, you literally fucked. And, like, you would never know. Because what if your whole time your door dasher was really, like, German on some shit? So, the whole time you was like, okay, that probably was the door dasher. Door dash would call. Hey, shit, you never know. <laughs> they might just be feeling a little different that day. You know? They could just be feeling a little different that day. You never know, bro. During his time as a cop, Alex Murphy was transformed into RoboCop, a law-abiding, law-enforcing, cyborg police officer. He has bulletproof armor, deadly aim, and some serious identity issues. Get this man a therapist. Like, he don't know who he is or anything about his past life. It, it gets really deep. Point is, though, he's a robot cop. RoboCop. Now, immediately first solution I can think of is don't break any laws. Easy enough, bro, right? Man, come on, bro. That's... Bro, surviving him is easy, bro. If he's a cop... All you literally gotta do is not mess with the nigga. What is he messing with you for? You know what I'm saying? Bro, just mind your business. He won't mess with you. 
That's easy, bro. That's easy. Right? Wrong. Easy you see, we got to assess what kind of cop RoboCop is. Is he a let me off the hook with a warning kind of cop? Or is he the type to see a more melanated fellow and just... Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. All right. So... The sign says... I didn't watch RoboCop, so if he does that... Uh... Nah. What would a nigga do in that situation? That's what I got to think about. What would a nigga do in that situation? Hello, and just... The sign says no loitering. Since he's from Detroit, I'm gonna assume the latter. Now that we got that down, let's just say I do commit a crime. Now RoboCop is on my ass. What do I do? Well, ladies and gentlemen, remember those... All right, you commit a crime, RoboCop's on your ass. Now, does he have an off button? Since he a robot? Like, does he have an off switch? I ain't gonna lie. If he does have an off switch... There's only certain things you could do. Someone gonna have to be your decoy, right? Someone gonna have to be the decoy. As they're the decoy and they committed that crime and he chasing them, you gonna have to get that. You gonna have to push that off switch somewhere. I don't care if it's in his ass cheeks. I don't care if it's on his right thigh. You gotta do something to get that that switch off, bro. You feel me? If niggas wanna live in that instance. You gotta do something to get that switch off. Self-identity issues I mentioned earlier. Well, that's our opportunity right there. Imagine this. Let's say they call me shoplifting at the local Target. Boom, police gets a word of it. RoboCop is on his way. RoboCop approaches my aisle with about three to five of his police buddies. And he tells me to freeze. I'm under arrest. I smile internally knowing what I'm about to do. Good afternoon, officer. What seems to be the problem? He's got a weapon. Oh, There's no Target right, that next nigga. one for sure. Whoa, whoa, hold on, nigga. What's what's with the song, my brother? Hold on, man. What's with the song, bro? Hold on, my nigga. Wait, wait, what's with the fucking song? All right, hold on, bro. Nigga, first. All right, hold on. Let's get past the intro first. All right, next one for sure. Oh, nigga had the, the, he had the, the nerve to put sound effects in his mouth. Like, Don't the Unlike the other movies, so. Okay, Planet of the Apes. How would you survive Planet of the Apes? Now, hopefully, they can talk, right? So since they can talk, I think we could do a little bit of reasoning to them. Reasoning with them. The certain ones. I don't know about that. You know, I don't know about that, 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 that big brolic one that's in the new movie. You know? He looked pretty dangerous. But Caesar. Say perhaps you run into Caesar. I think I could do some reasoning with Caesar. You know? I bet, hey, Caesar, listen. Your time didn't come yet, my brother. I'm sorry. But just know, I was part of your tribe. That's literally all I could tell the nigga, bro. And he gonna have to believe me, bro. I was part of your tribe once in my lifetime. You know? So, just because your time didn't come yet, you can't really take that out on me, man. I wanna help you. I wanna help you. Bro, humans became friends with the monkeys in that movie, right? Or am I tripping? I don't remember it. It's been so long since I watched the first one, bro. Bro, I think humans became friends with the monkeys in the first movie. So far, I'm facing more. Bro, it's come on, man. I'm good. I'm good, bro. At that point, bro, I become cool with them. I become tight with them, bro. I'm good. They could damn near be the security than one opponent. A whole planet of them, actually. These are highly advanced creatures with sophisticated communication, access to weapons, the ability to adapt to almost anything, and that's already on top of their natural capabilities. Do y'all know how strong a monkey is? So how am I winning this one? It's a literal 1v gazillion. There's no way I make it out, right? Well, there is a simple solution to this Join one. Join them, nigga! They may be all advanced and have all these weapons, Join but at the end of the day, they're just monkeys. It's as easy as setting up a huge pile of bananas and sitting back and relaxing. Especially if I put less bananas than they actually need. Oh boy, it's too easy. Their instincts wouldn't be able to resist. It'll be- uh, I didn't think about that part. See, I, I don't remember any bananas being in Planet of the Apes. I didn't think about that part. I forgot about that. Ah, okay. That's another way. That's only if I run into the bad monkeys, though. If I run into the good ones, then I'm going to try reasoning with them. I ain't going to lie. I run into the bad ones, then I'm going to have the bananas on deck. 
Be like a moth to a flame. But honestly, if that doesn't work, though. I'll just join them. I'll blend right in. See? My wife. See, see, he get what I'm saying. Friends tell me all the time I kind of look like a monkey. I think it might be because of my facial hair. Anyways, I'll fit right in. I'll be fine. Planet of the Apes, too easy. Godzilla. Okay. <laughs> all right, Godzilla. Now, sometimes when it comes to Godzilla, bro, Godzilla not even a bad guy though. I ain't gonna lie, they do be fucking up the town, though. But Godzilla's not even the bad guy. Let's be honest. Godzilla's a great guy. That's a He's a great guy, bro. Or a great uh, dinosaur, whatever the nigga, is, nigga, the nigga is. Um, How I survived Godzilla? Hmm. Now, aren't there certain people that's cool with Godzilla, like Godzilla's cool with? Let me see. Godzilla friends, Rodan, Jet Jaguar. Bro, he's cool with some. It's not all just animals he cool with, bro. Who is this? This nigga not even real. How the fuck is he? Bro, nigga, what? Who is all these people he's named? Bro, who are these people? What is this? Shinron, bro? Nigga. You never watched anything in this video? Oh, this nigga not a movie watcher. This nigga not a real movie watcher, bruh. This nigga are not a real movie watcher. This nigga's a baddie hub patroller. This nigga not a real movie watcher. What do y'all expect me to do? Are we living in the... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, when it comes to Godzilla, bro, there's nothing really you can do. You just gotta get lucky that he don't get you, bro. Or you gotta fly out of Japan, bro. That's literally your only two options. You leave Japan or you gotta get lucky he doesn't get you, bro. Because at that point, bro, he's it, it's, it's over for you, bro. I feel like becoming friends with Kong is easier than becoming friends with Godzilla. Even though Godzilla doesn't be fighting for no evil or nothing, it's still, though, bro. It's still the fact. He still might step on your house by accident. Dream. Are we living in a dream? Life's a right, simulation run by machines. Humans are enslaved, and a bunch of agents will come after you if you find out the this truth. It's crazy. I never watched The Matrix. But I know what The Matrix is. And, like, I know the concept. But I've never watched The Matrix to this day. I've never watched it. What am I going to do? You see, the thing about this one is even if I did want to find out the truth, I can't. Opioids ain't really my thing, you know? I don't think I really fit the demographic anyways. I I'm more of a blue crystal kind of guy if you catch my drift. And since I won't be taking either of the pills, I'm pretty much winning. Granted, I'll still be a bot plugged into the Matrix, but that means I, Agent I Smith won't Matrix, come bro. after me. I'll be I too busy waking up every day at 6 a.m. to work a job I, I don't want to work, paying rent I nearly can't pay, and ultimately, after 65 years of working 40-hour weeks, I'll finally get to to retire and enjoy my last few years in my nice one bedroom apartment in Detroit, Michigan. Is it too late to take the red pill? Hunger Games. Oh, what's the problem with you fucking Hunger Games? Ah. Oh. Okay. Let me think of this one. Let me think of this one. Okay, let me think. 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 I don't remember too much. Is it bad that I watched like 40 minutes of The Hunger Games and that's it? I haven't watched the second movie. I haven't watched the third movie. I haven't watched any other movie they had. I just watched 40 minutes of the first movie. That's it. Call it a day. Bro, I'm not a movie. I, I need to watch more movies, bro. I know who Katniss is, though, and I know all like the, the lore and like, you feel me? But it's like... So for those who don't know, the Hunger Games is a competition designed by these weird hair having people where kids from different districts have to fight each other to the death in an unfamiliar location. In this case, the woods. And last person or last people, forgot to mention, you get a partner, standing win it big for their district. Now, this is one that I had to think long and hard about because there's so many different possibilities. Firstly, one might think, yo, That's you can just escape like, or go out of bounds answer, during the bro. games. That way they can't catch you. No, these dudes, the game creators, have freaking fireballs they can launch them. They can pretty much control the whole map like they're playing my Minecraft creator. So going out of bounds is off the table. How about hiding? You see that one? That one is just too easy. You see, I'm a hide and seek champion. I was so good, people would give up on finding I me and just go up. home and not tell me for hours. Nah, I I 
Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Nah. Fuck no. I can't do that. I can't do that. When it comes to hiding, though, I am amazing at it, bro. Like, y'all ever played... Y'all ever played a game of hide and seek with y'all friends and just, like, y'all never got caught? Like, bro. I ain't gonna lie. If y'all if y'all have the ability to do that, y'all some special niggas, bro. Y'all are some special niggas. It's like something about me with hiding spots is just so amazing for some reason. I like me a bit of a challenge. So amazing, I like to bro. chase. So I've concocted a plan that trumps both of these. Listen up. Being that I played thousands of matches of Minecraft Hunger Games and won a good portion of them, 17 to be specific, I learned a lot of things. First thing we got to think about is weapon slash skill of choice. Normally, I would go for a Glock, but I think that might not be allowed. So I'll pull a Katniss and stick to the bow and arrow, as I do have a pretty strong right arm. Secondly, who will be my partner? Could it be Peter, the camouflage professional? Katniss, the Marshman, we can run a bow meta. Kato, the Relentless Killer, or Rue. And the answer to this one might surprise you, but I'm picking no one. I'm doing this thing solo dolo, single Pringle, popular loner style. Oh, While partners may be advantageous in some cases, I'm avoiding them completely. I'm DTB. Don't trust. I don't know bystanders. I'm avoiding getting betrayed, and I'm avoiding heartbreak when my partner dies. Oh, that is smart. That is smart, though. That most definitely is smart. That most definitely is smart, bruh. I ain't gonna lie. Because, bro, imagine getting fucking backdoored by your fucking your partner, bro, in the Hunger Games. Right when y'all at the end or some shit. That's why I can't. Ooh, nah, 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 nah. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. Win win. No one played Minecraft with me back then, then no one's winning with me now. I'm sorry. Now we gotta talk strategy for when the game starts. Immediately, I'm going straight for my boat. Most likely, I'll be the fastest one there. I mean, I ran track for a month freshman year and they kicked me off the team because I was <laughs> too fast. So I'm definitely getting my boat. And as soon as I do get it, I'm targeting everyone I see, but preferably people who are easy targets. Old ladies, fat people, children. Nah, uh, fuck that, bro. You gotta get the, the you gotta get the try hard ass niggas out first. You really do. You got to get the try hard ass niggas out first, bro. Facts. You have to. It's only right, bro. You got to get the try hard niggas out first. Okay, yeah. Easy targets. Cool. Rack up some points. Okay, what is that going to do when you're facing six different try hards when you're at the end? I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I'd rather have the shitters be last or close to last. So, boom. Right at the end, I know what I'm doing. I gotta, bro, I gotta think of a strat to take out all the best niggas first, bro. That's how I'm rolling, bro. That's how I'm rolling. I'm sorry, it's you or me, man. I'm coming in there with a katana. Fuck the fucking bow and arrow shit. I'm, my aim. Y'all see my aim yesterday on Wii Sports. So imagine that shit in real life. Bro, I'm coming in there with a katana, nigga. Oh my gosh, I'm going dummy. I'm going stupid. But the thing is with a sword, a sword fight, though, scary, though. I ain't gonna lie. If I'm sword fighting a nigga, nigga come up behind me, get me in the back. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I ain't gonna lie. Fair play, my nigga. Boy, I'd say I'm right fucked. there, I'd take out about anywhere from five to 15 people. But I'll be on the calm side and I'll say five. Boom, 19 people left. After running out the middle, I would wait till nightfall. Go on the prowl again, collecting resources, staying low key, staying hidden when shh. I see Kato and his goons. I could easily take out all of them, but I don't really feel like it right now. Instead, I decide to crumble a few of those nightlock berries into their water. Bam, morning comes, half of Kato's group is gone. Ooh. Oh, that nigga thought about this. Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, before I even sign up or, like, do anything like this, bro. Bro, imagine a hunger games like stream obviously y'all not doing like no one's doing nothing to each other like obviously but like bro imagine a hunger game stream that would be kind of fire bro i might back it up what i call it i don't know how a nigga would pull it off but that would be fire nigga hold on i'm writing that down bro hold on That would be tough. How would I do it, though? I don't know how I would do that. Hold on, I just wrote that down. Bro, I don't know. I literally don't know how I would do it, bro. I don't know if I would for, say, I don't know if I would. Oh, shit. Like, will we, I wouldn't want people staying out there all day and night, bro. You feel me? I feel like I would have to. That's some future shit. I would have to hold the whole production with that. Lights, outside, and all, bro. You feel me? 
But that will kind of be fire, though. Like, imagine that with streamers. Imagine doing that with streamers, right? Imagine doing a big old 100 games with streamers, and they all have point of views live. Ooh, that would be so tough. That would be so tough. That would be tough. I promise you, that would be fire as fuck. But that would be hard, though, because we in the woods. I know connection would be terrible. Connection would literally be so bad, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Connection would be so bad. So bad, bro. It's too easy. Now, fast forward to the final four. Me, Katniss, Peta, and Kato. Again, could take out all of them with a single arrow, but that's too easy. Instead, I have a better plan. I'll help Katniss and Peta take out Kato. And in doing so, now it's just us three. Me versus the District 12 people. The announcer says, Only one team can win! Katniss and Peta look at me knowing what they have to do. And then... Showtime. I don't wanna die, man. <laughs> I want to live. Please, my mama, man. My mama need me. My, my kids need me. My district need me, man. As as Please, man. That, bro, I ain't gonna lie. As soon as, as soon as he said, before, as soon as I heard one, nigga, that motherfucker is getting drawn. But if I'm fighting, uh, what's her name, Katniss? If, I, if I'm fighting her last, bro, I ain't gonna lie. She might be on some different timing, though, my nigga. That's why I really gotta watch out. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I really gotta watch out, bro. Because, say for example, I draw my blade, right? Shin! Put that motherfucker out. She gonna hear that shit. Bro, what if she on some crazy shit? Already have that arrow. Ha! Ha! You feel me? And then right there. Ha! You know what I'm saying, bro? I get hit, I'm fucked. So it's like, what do I do at that certain situation, bro? You gotta play that out so strategic, my nigga. You gotta play that out so smart and so smooth that she does not expect you to do anything like that. I ain't gonna lie. It gotta be at a certain moment when she's like getting food, picking up like picking up picking berries for food or something, uh, drinking some water. It gotta be so strategic, bro. Like, you feel me? I'll feel like a, a terrible, terrible person, but hey. It's you or me, my baby. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that I, I feel like a terrible person for it, but I'm just stating the facts here. It's you or me. Candace instead proposes another option, the poisonous nightlock berries. She wants all of us to eat them together to send the game creators a message. Three, two, one. Wait, so are we eating them on go or on one? I did it! Yeah. I won! It's that easy, my people. And if that plan doesn't work, I always have a contingency plan. I could just call on my boy Moist Critical. And as y'all know, he's been in the movies. He could easily pull some strings from me, allowing me to win. And I mean, I would call him right now, but he might be busy. That was pretty much all the movies I wanted to go over today. And as you guys can see, as long as I'm not going against an android, a cyborg, or a radioactive lizard, I'm pretty much immortal. Comment down below which movies you guys think you would have survived. And any more movies you want me to talk about. I might do a part two. And moral of the story. Good video though, my boy. Yo, Moise, say what's up to the video. Anyway. If, it, if there's any, let me see, is there any movies he missed? I low key could. What if I did an ooh, fufu in there? That'd be fire. That would kind of be fire, though. A ooh, fufu on, 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 on action movies that I can survive. I ain't gonna lie. I don't want a long one, though. I don't want to do a long one. I'm not doing a long one, bro. I feel like I want to talk to people in Discord with it at the same time, though. As I'm doing it. But good video, though, bro.